Good evening student, my name is Vaseem Sheikh and today we shall discuss about the viruses. Viruses, there is no sign of viruses inside the classification of Robert Whittaker. Okay, viruses are the acellular and non-living organism. These are the first substance which came on the surface of earth. Most of the scientists believe that these are the threshold of life. The first scientist who gave the name to the virus was Pasteur. So, Louis Pasteur was the first scientist who gave the name virus. The virus is named right from the Greek mythology. It means that this is the substance which is poisonous in nature or venomous in nature. Then, after the Louis Pasteur, there is one more scientist, DJ Ivanovsky. DJ Ivanovsky is known for discovery of virus. Okay, there is another scientist, Bajernik. Bajernik is a scientist who isolates infected leaves from the infected plant and he crushed that infected leaf on and spread on healthy plant and the healthy plant became infected, a victim of that disease. He said that the fluid of viruses are Contagium virum fluidum. Okay, after the DJ by after the Bajan Lake, there is one more scientist, Stanley. Stanley was the first person who isolated virus in the crystalline form. Isolate virus in crystalline form. When he get analyzed, when he got analyzed that crystalline form, he found that it composed by the protein and nucleic acid. We can simply say that viruses are composed by the protein and nucleic acid. So this is all about the discovery and uh, structure discovery about the viruses. Now we can understand the structure of virus. Okay, viruses are composed by the three things. Firstly, ebola, second protein and third one is nucleic acid. These are the three main major component of virus in which enola are not found inside the all viruses. It is usually found inside the some viruses. Okay. Let's go for further detail. For instance, this is a virus, the outermost covering of the virus is inulin which is composed by the lipid and carbohydrate which is composed by the lipid and carbohydrate in case of protein the inner coat of virus it is composed by the protein the protein is known as capsid Protein coat of virus is known as capsid, which is composed by the small unit, which is known as capsoma. So, capsoma is a fundamental unit of capsid, and capsid nothing only but a coating of virus. So, entire virus is covered by the covered by the capsid as you covered your book by the paper. As like viruses are covered with the help of capsid and capsid is composed by the capsomere. These capsomeres sometimes arrange in polyhedral manner while sometimes it's arranged in spherical manner. These capsomeres sometimes arrange in polyhedral manner while sometimes these are arranged in spiral manner. In case of bacteriophage, 
In case of bacteria phage, there is an arrangement of capsid in polyhedral manner, while in case of tobacco mosaic virus, there is an arrangement of capsomia in spherical manner. Okay, there is one more thing is left that is nucleic acid. So So nucleic acid acid that is a genetic material of RNA, a virus which might be DNA or RNA. There might be single stranded DNA and double stranded DNA. Single stranded DNA or double stranded DNA. In case of virus, herpes, there is a double stranded DNA, while in case of tumor, own tumor virus, there is a single stranded DNA. If we consider RNA, there is also in single stranded RNA, or there might be double stranded RNA RNA also act as a genetic material in some viruses okay so single stranded virus found inside the tobacco mosaic virus okay and this one is found inside the coleoptera virus Okay, this is all about the nucleic acid found inside the virus. Simply we can say that there is a genetic material which might be DNA, which might be RNA, which might be single standard DNA, which might be single standard RNA. Whether it's either, either DNA or RNA. Okay. Virus are further classified, classified on the base of their infection. On the base of infection virus or classified animal virus plant virus and bacterial virus the animal virus are such kind of virus those affect only animal for instance HIV virus human immunodeficiency virus why in case of plant there is telophic virus in case of bacteria there is a most common virus bacteriophage it's the most common virus that infect the Ischerchia coli okay Generative virus follow the two kind of phases for reproduction, lytic phase and lysogenic phase. Life cycle of virus is totally depend upon lytic phase and lysogenic phase. So lytic phase, in case of lytic phase, as you know that virus introduce its genetic material inside the cell inside the host cell and use host entire machinery of dna replication and protein formation it means it's use transcription and translation methodology and produce several viruses inside the host cell these virus penetrate the cell membrane of host cell and get free this is the lytic cycle in case of lysogenic cycle virus introduce its genetic material and several virus produce inside the host cell and they get out from the cell one by one one by one without destroying the host cell okay these are the virus life cycle lysic lytic and lysogenic cycle